Hi. Hi. I'm Chip Hamlin. And I am Earl Prescott. And this is... Tackle Talk Talk with with Chip Chip and Earl. Earl. Some good plan. How you doing doing today, today, Earl? Chip? Earl, you've been doing this a long time, and you should know that I go first. I ask you, how you doing? I apologize, Chip. It's okay. It's okay. Chip, I'm doing just great today. It's a foggy day, but you know what? I'm feeling like I'm on cloud nine. Oh, you're on the cloud nine. What cloud are you on, Chip? Well, Earl, I'm just standing on the ground. I'm not even in the clouds at all. It's a matter of speaking. What's so special about the ninth one, Earl? Uh, you know what, Chip? Actually, today it looks like the clouds decided to uh, come down to Earth for the day and mm. live on the land like the humans do. That's how you know that God is walking amongst us. Because it's foggy. It's foggy because that's where the clouds is. And the angels and gods live in the clouds. Chip, why don't you tell people where we are, who we are, and what we're fishing for today. Hi, I'm Chip Hamlin. Oh, that's there. And today, we're coming to you from North Carolina at the Naharan River. And uh, we've been fishing here for a little while. We've been catching a lot of bass, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass. And... I thought I would change it up today, try a different kind of lure, and uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what uh, what fish we get. I'm just I'm seeing what's in this this river, you know. Chip. Some of the locals tell me that there's a big one. Chip, now would probably be a great time to mention to our viewers that corn wash is a thing that exists. It's a corn-based soap substance that you can use to wash your wounds. Get it right Pets. in there. If you got a a deep cut and you don't want it to fester and get infected, throw some corn wash in there. Make sure you're aggressive with the niblets. Mm-hmm. Um, Chip, I've seen um, I've seen a, a video recently of a man washing his house with corn wash. This just goes to show you how versatile the product is. Um, have you ever seen a power washer? No. Power washer is a very powerful bl- jet blast of water, but instead he filled it up with corn wash. Can you imagine <laughs> niblets and soap oh firing at 150 psi? That sounds like one of the my fantasy dreams that Think I have. Think about all of the power. All oh, the niblets. That cleanup seems like it'd be bit, a bit of a mess, but f- mold and fungus on your siding comes right off when you're comes shooting right corn niblets at it. At an incredible rate of Ooh, speed. You got a fish on. I, I don't know what this is going to be, Earl. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Never admit that. Pull it in. I'm I'm reeling. I'm reeling. Whoop, oh, oh, launched him out of the water. And oh, he's got his fingers down his pants. Is this going to be another bass? It's going to be another bass. That's a strong looking bass. That's there. another small mouth bass. I noticed that you d- you just decided to abandon the hook hold, fish holder. Well, I had a good hook on this one, so I didn't, the string. didn't need it. I like that very beautiful purple lure you've got there. Thank What's, you. What kind of lure is that, a narrow spoon? That's a purple narrow spoon, one quarter ounce, hook number one over zero. Chip slept in the van last night. There was a noise... Fell asleep okay, quickly enough, but then I heard a banging and rustling around. I thought it... Well, when I, w- I was in a dream about Denise, and I thought it was her, so I went out there thinking, Denise, maybe, Chip, maybe was an we animal. Should, maybe we should rewind a little bit in case people haven't been watching Tackle Talk every week. Like they, you know, actually, I take that back. Chip, most people probably don't watch t- Tackle Talk every week. So let's fill people in who are watching this episode for some reason. Uh, last episode, uh, Chip's landlord, I believe his name was Barry. Call him shithead, stupid face. All right, Chip, calm down. Well, you brought him up. What did you expect again? Called Chip, and he gave Chip more than an advanced warning that his rent was overdue, uh, and he politely asked that Chip please pay his rent and a late fee. Chip 
declined to take this. He had several opportunities. I didn't have the money, this. and the refrigerator was still making too much noise for my liking. And bought too many hot dogs and maybe some lotto tickets. It was and one lotto ticket. Chip. And maybe 30 or 40 hot dogs, but that uh, man's got to eat. Anyways, Barry did what he was within the law to do. He evicted Chip from his apartment. And now Chip is without a home. You know, it's within the law to call him a stupid f***ing piece of shit. All right, Chip, enough with the Doesn't make it place. right. So, after I offered Chip a place to stay in my house, and he politely declined. No, you didn't. Chip. No, you didn't. Resorted to spending he didn't do that. the night you in think, the van. Yeah, he's a good friend. He would uh, offer a place to stay because I said, I, I, have, I said, hey viewers, if there's anyone out there, you know, I have my got eight. a place for to let old Chip stay. Thinking, oh, Earl will say, oh, don't worry, Chip, I got a card. He's a good friend of mine. But I have. Turns out that is not what happened. I have my in-laws in town this week, and they're staying in the guest bed as soon as they leave. You, the guest room is all So I have to sleep yours. in the van. I have to sleep outside or in the van until, there until is, your in-laws there's leave. There's plenty of bubble wrap in there from the packages that we bought, the new rod. Earl? I can't Earl? hang on to, in the cardboard Do you know what it's blanket. like to be sleeping in a deep sleep, dreaming about beautiful angels floating down to you, and you roll over, pop, pop. It wakes you right up, scares the bejesus out of me. Uh, whose idea was it with the bubble wrap? I didn't think about that. I thought it'd be a nice cushion for you. Well, it's not. Is the cardboard blanket I left in there keeping you warm? It got cardboard cold last night. isn't a blanket. It's just a piece of cardboard. It doesn't hug your curves and the contours of your, of your body at all. It's just a flat thing. Doesn't trap any heat. Doesn't offer you any comfort. Did you shower? Doesn't hug you, back. Doesn't kiss you back. Did Did you shower? Did you do a sponge bath in the pond? You smell. I didn't get much sleep, bro. You I didn't have bad. time. I, I mean, this, 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 it's not like people can smell me through the show. If you didn't talk about it, it wouldn't be a problem. But now you've talked about it, and it's a problem. Is there anyone on the phone? Chip, we, I had to wake you up. talk about something else? Me and Andy showed up to the show today to record banging on the side of the van chips in there sleeping i understand you didn't get a good night's sleep and you had to catch up on your, on your damn beauty bubble rest. wrap waking me up every single time but when i when we're recording the show i expect you to be ready to go especially when andy's so chomping at the bit every day you know what earl it's pretty easy for you to talk with your perfect life and your wife and your family and everything's going great chip i brought Old a tooth chip here chip. struggling just to survive I brought a toothbrush for you in case your mouth is oh foul. Oh, you brought oh. You think it's foul? Here, smell this. How was that, Earl? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I think I have an abscessed tooth. Yeah. You gonna take me to the dentist? It, well, is there gas in the van? Of course not. What did you eat for breakfast, Chip? I brought you half of a Dunkin' Donuts Mc Mc, Mc sandwich. Can we talk about why it was only a half a one? Well, I had mine, and then I was still hungry, so I ate half of yours. Are there Andy, any callers Andy that we can half talk of yours. to? It's Andy. Yes, actually, on the line, um, looks like Andy's uh, going a little bit crazy. Do you want to put him on the phone, Chip? Or Okay. Let's listen to what this phone caller has to say to Chip and Earl. Hello, Chip and Earl. I'm uh, Janice. Hi, Janice. And I'm uh, uh, currently going through um, gender uh, reassignment. <clears throat> Excuse and, me? Uh, I used to be uh, named Jason, but um, uh, I'm making the transition. And uh, I'm at the point where I to have what? to make a decision now about um, uh, getting um, the uh, surgery. <clears throat> to uh, complete the, uh, the transformation. What's he talking about? Isn't um, so I'm a little hesitant, obviously, to uh, go ahead and go through with it. But um, w wondering if you guys could, like, you know, um, you know, maybe point me in the right direction and give me some advice. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Thanks for calling, Earl. Can you explain to me what the heck they were talking about? Chip, I'd be delighted to. 
We live in a wonderful day and age where if an individual does not feel comfortable with their gender, they can swap genders. There are, if, if you're a man and you want to become a woman, you take estrogen. Wait. It makes you grow wait. breasts and oh, changes oh, your oh, voice. Oh, 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 hold and on. And if you are... Hold, hold on. So dedicated. you're saying that this person... Jay, well, Janice. Was a, a man... Well, he used to be he used to be Jason. Now he's Jen. Now is a Janice. man, and they want to become a lady. Yeah, some people feel <laughs> like they're. <laughs> what? <laughs> so the surgery they want to cut off the dangly. Yes, they <laughs> they there's a sur- surgi- surgical procedure. <laughs> Where they remove the, the, <laughs> the well, they <laughs> kind of <laughs> slice it open like a banana and kind of make a a false <laughs> vagina out of it, but it, it's still joke. operational. This is a Halloween or something. Uh, it's no. It's, is that just a Halloween joke? It's not a Halloween. This is real. It, this is real, people. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Chip. <laughs> Chip, this is not, it's not a joke. It's not funny. Andy, that might be something you should think about. <laughs> you shake your head. No. Shake Andy, I'm no. shaking my head. Yes, that might be. <laughs> Any, anyways, Janice, if you'd like my reaction, if you are willing and dedicated to becoming a woman then i feel like you should think about that because that is a non-reversible surgical procedure and if you are comfortable doing that then you should certainly go through with it you know i take it i take it back i thought i had a bad but that is that is so much worse oh i'm keeping my bits intact don't worry about that well, old Chip will be back on the scene at some point. I'm not going to completely give up on it. <laughs> my, my goodness, that's that's about the saddest thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> Corn wash is a product that's available in your store. You can buy it and power wash your house with it. Corn wash. Available today. Oh boy, I had to clean out my my brain with some corn wash after hearing that story. Um, uh, Andy saying we got uh, somebody on the line. All right, the caller, uh, you're on the line. Uh, go ahead, you're on with the uh, Chippenero. Hey, hey guys, my name is Motor Runner, and I I got a bit of a question for you. Motor Runner. Yeah, you you got a problem with that? Uh, it's just a strange name, is all. Yeah, my my name is Motor Runner. And when, when you slice, when you get your fish, and you catch them, how do you slice them? I don't slice mine horizontally. No, no, no. I slice mine vertically. How how do you slice your fish? Uh, we slice it the long way. Well, yeah, usually it's horizontally. You make a fillet. Chip um, uses the lateral line as almost like a trace line. It's a it's a bit a of a guide. Knife. It's a it's a guide. Yeah, that that's that's pretty much how we slice it. And then we um, hook it up on on the barbecue, and uh, fry it up. Well, not on the, you don't fry it up on a barbecue. I got my lines crossed there, but it's good. Sometimes Earl puts a little lemon sauce on it and uh, a little salt. I like cooking. It's one of my favorite pastimes. I don't like cutting people, though. What's wrong with cutting people? Well, um, (laughs) you know, if it's like in line in the grocery store, it's not so bad, I suppose. (laughs) If it gets you to Disney World any faster, I suppose that's a pause. I like Mickey Mouse. I don't. Chip, would you excuse me? Sure. sure. What, what, what's what's wrong? I don't want to even say this on air, but 
You gotta do the poopy. I have to go. No, I have to go. I have to go to the bathroom. There, well, there, there's a river right here. Uh, we won't I'm gonna point go, the camera at you. I'm gonna go walk into the woods. Okay. Do we have? Do we have a bucket? We got a couple empty corn wash containers, and you can. Chip, this is a. This could be a weird thing that I have, but I. I don't like urinating on the ground because, especially in the forest, I heard that human urine has a great deal of ammonia in it. And it can harm the ecosystem, especially the fish. So I usually urinate in buckets, bring them, bring it home and dump it in the toilet. If there's a bucket in the, in the, in the van, I'm gonna go get it and go to the bathroom. Is that okay? Oh, that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard you say. Chip, just give me a break. I'll be right back. Okay. There he goes, and he's, uh, he's off to the bathroom. There. And, um... Okay, looks like it's just old Chip here and, uh, and Andy carrying the, the load. And so, you know, I think I'm gonna just do a little, uh... Chip. I'm gonna cast over Chip, to the. Where's the bat? Where's the bucket? In the van. Did, what is, is this it? This. Did, Chip, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Is this it? Is this the thing you're talking about? The bucket? Yeah. This barrel. Yep. This bowl. Okay. Okay. I'm oh, gonna fish on. Fish on. Sorry about fish that. Fish on, everyone. Let me uh, get my soft voice here. I just uh, remember, fishing's about. Relaxation. Chip. Concentration? Chip. Relaxation. I'm gonna go while you reel this one, I'm gonna go to the restroom, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, would you look at that? Ooh, we got a red, red fin, fin pickerel. pickerel. That's great. That's a new one for us. You see, this is why sometimes you just gotta try a new lure. Try something different. And uh you never know what you're gonna get. Okay. Chip, please excuse me. I'm gonna go use the restroom. Uh, okay. Fuck. Just, just us again. Jesus Christ, Chip is so fucking stupid. Um, I, I think his, uh, Andy, I think his, his mic's still on. I, c I can, I can hear him. Shit. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, um. Uh, I told him. Better, I better start reeling in. Oh dear, Earl. He's too far. He can't hear me. Oh. That's um, that's just the rain. That's just okay. I think he's done. I think he's done. Damn one, that f stupid fuck. Oh. And you know what? Press guy is a little stupid fuck too. And I hope he gets that gender assignment surgery, yet? and lops off his little willy. He doesn't even know what gender reassignment surgery is. Jesus, fucking host is a moron. You know, I don't really much feel like fishing that That's much. The reason why the show more. hasn't been doing so good. We have a host that's a fucking moron. <clears throat> fishing. Oh, he zipped. He zipped. <clears throat> okay. That was a zip. Hi, right, Chip. I'm back. Hi, Earl. That was a great. What was it a redfin pickerel? That looked great. Earl, good catch on that one, Chip. You um. What's up? You, you didn't turn off your microphone when you went to the bathroom. My my mic was on. Yep. The whole the whole time. Yeah, you said some things while you were um, peeing about Andy. Was, well, no, it was, was, uh, was <laughs> no. You actually didn't say anything about Andy. It, uh, oh, he's a stupid. N no, that's well. That's it. Is that's it? Sounded it sounded like you were talking about um, Chip well, Hamlin. Well, and that's Andy, me, by the way. Andy is the same. What the what I was saying. It sounded. I've. 
Chip, sometimes when I'm urinating, I get my wires crossed. You know that. Well, I've heard you say that before, but um, this time I'm not so sure. Chip, why don't we get to the phone calls again? Do you have anybody else on the phones? I don't know. Why don't you talk to Andy? Don't talk to me. I'm just a dumb old host. Have fun. I'm just going to sit here and fish. You guys can fuck yourself with the camera. You can shut it off. I'm just going to sit here and fish. I got the fishing pole. I'm going to catch fish and live off the fish. I don't need to, you two little shits. Chip, it looks like How'd you get we the have a phone call going. Yeah, it looks like we have a phone call on the line, Chip. Hi. Retlaw? Looks like you're on the air with oh, Chip Law. and Earl. Go ahead, Retlaw. Hang on. Oh, is he there? I don't hear him. Let's give him a minute. Good job, Andy. Good job, bro. This is what happens. Yeah, you blame the host for it. Guess what? Andy doesn't know what the Andy hell he's doing. It. Andy was he saw me peeing and he wanted to pee too and said some things into my microphone. Oh uh, yeah, I'm sure. Everyone just likes to say things when they're peeing. Go ahead, Retlaw. You're on the air with Chip and Earl. Go ahead, Retlaw. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, Retlaw. You're you know right. what my guess is? Probably uh, heard what you had to say, Earl, and said, F*** that asshole. I don't want to call in anymore, and I probably don't want to watch this show. You know what? You know, I hope nobody my... watches this show. Maybe Retlaw just got really drunk and passed out. I doubt it. Chip, do you want to go to the tweets? Or no, Retlaw, you're on the air with Chip and Earl. Oh, no, wait. It's Cornwash. Cornwash. Wash your mouth the out with soap. The world's first corn-based cleaning product. Uh, it's been known to cause you can use it blind, blindness. Before a colonoscopy. That's how it'll, I did it. It'll brush out your colon. Yep. Retlaw, you're on the air with Chip and Earl. Are you there? He's not there. He's, He's not still not there. not there. Andy, put up the Cornwash logo. I can't. You can't see the fishing pole now. Andy, take out the fish. Take out the Cornwash logo. Andy, do we have any tweets? See, we're gonna. Retlaw, you're on the. <clears throat> Retlaw's on the air with Chip and Earl. Retlaw's not on the air. Earl, I think you gotta let it go. We gotta let it go. I don't think he's coming. We're gonna have to move on. You know what? This is. The wonder of live television, Chip, is you gotta roll with the punches. Sometimes, though, you get punched by your own teammate, and then you start wondering about the whole enterprise. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> Captain Kirk. Let's get to the tweets, Chip. Let's see what we have in store. You know what? Why don't you read the tweets? This is from... Well, this is actually for you, Chip. This is from at Bluegill287. Chip, have you ever had sushi? It's a Japanese dish that sometimes includes raw fish. Hashtag Tackle Talk. What's See, this person's name? Uh, Bluegill. Bluegill, that's about all I've been eating the past week. The raw fish. Well, he, said, he didn't ask. He said, he said Has, have you ever had sushi? It's raw fish. And he, he provided that information just in case you said, you know, what what is sushi? Because did, did you know what sushi was before he described it to you? Yes, Earl. I've happened to have been to Mexican restaurants before, okay? Jap Japanese. Did oh. you like Don't Did you like it? Just throw around those words on the air. My goodness, you're going to offend someone. Did you like the sushi? Yeah, it was fish. You're probably going to have some sushi tonight. Just You're probably not. can eat the raw fish that we catch today. Let's go. We on. got one right here. We're gonna this go, is a fighter. We're gonna wait for the second tweet after Chip pulls in his dinner. Like a good, like a. I'm good at fishing. Okay. There's one thing you can't take away from me. I am good at freaking fishing. That's true. Here's the second tweet. <laughs> 
plated. <laughs> this is a fishing joke. It's a bit of a pun, actually. Chip caught a 26-pound bass? Question mark. I bought it. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> it's a good one. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fishing joke. Chip, you should get on board. <laughs> What, on the cardboard that you left me to keep myself warm with last oh, night? and the bubble wrap. Let's see the third tweet now. This is our third and last tweet. You think you could suffocate somebody with bubble wrap? This is from... I think so. At Simon Smog. My allergies always start act up this time of year. Do either of you have al any allergies? Finally, someone asking a good question. Good Absolutely. Mark. I suffer from hay fever every single spring and fall. It is a nightmare. My eyes get all red and well up and I can hardly see and then Earl has to drive and he's not that good at driving, driving let's be honest. And uh, yeah, I, I just kind of suffer through it. Sometimes I take a Claritin if I can afford it, but you know, these days I, I can't. So I just, um, you know, it looks like I got stung by a bee about 10 times in my face. That's what happens to me. Well, Chip, that's great. You know what I'm really allergic to? Negativity. Complaining. Yeah? And just general upsetness. Is that right? Which is why you're going to hear me sneezing in about five minutes, Chip. Well, I got an idea. Why don't I just cast this lure onto this log? Because that wouldn't be very productive now, would it? Uh-oh. Cast it on the snagged. log. Oh, my line got snagged. Oh. Did you look at that. What are you trying to prove there, Hamlin? He released. That wasn't a very strong log. Retlaw, you're on the air with Chip. No, he's not. Still. Corn wash. The <laughs> only product that you can put in your bathtub, and it'll harm your plumbing. This show sucks. Anyone out there who needs a host for a better show, call me up. Anybody want to call in? It. Nobody wants Earl Prescott. Not even my Bat wife. Stag Is that right? Or are you just joking? <clears throat> Can we end the episode early? Oh, it sounds like we hit a little bit of a sore spot with Earl Prescott. Someone's life isn't going so perfectly anymore. A... And guess who's not going to give him any sympathy? That's right, Chip Hamlin. Andy, you're not either. Probably you not me? Andy either. Andy's not going to either because I'm yeah. not going to let him. No. If you do, I'm going to choke you out with some bubble wrap. Chip, you know, I'll head down to the basement today, see if I can find some of my kids' old baseball jerseys. Maybe you can cuddle up with them tonight. It's going to be warmer than the bubble wrap. Probably less less loud, too. Probably less loud. We might have some Eggo waffles in the back of the freezer that have a lot of that freezer burn stuff on them. Maybe I'll be able to munch on those. You might want to wait for them to be de defrosted, but you could probably eat them frozen, too. Thanks, Earl. Just doing what I can to help a friend. Yep. Really bending over backwards. Can we end this now or what? We're not doing this I, bucket I, of pee. I, dump it on your goddamn head. This has been. Wrap it. No. I don't want to. Andy, don't listen to him. And you know what? Let's sit here I've for a little while. I've been Earl Press. Yeah, Earl, why don't you go jump in the river for a little while and go for a swim? I'll try and fish you out with this hook. What do you think about that? Chip, my clothes would get all wet. Oh, my clothes would get all wet. Oh, no. You don't want me to get my clothes wet. doesn't know anything about... Anyways, viewers, I've been Chip and Hamlin. <clears throat> and some other guy was also here, I've and this has been Earl Tackle Talk with Chip Prescott. Hamlin. And that's pretty much it. Earl Prescott, Andy too. sometimes. Oh, yeah, so long. so long. So long. So long. Andy, oh, Andy's running away with that bucket of pee. What's he doing with it?